Hey guys, Doug, here. How's it going? Today I have a fall classic candle for you. This is Autumn Wreath by Yankee Candle. And I've wanted to talk about this. Actually, I wanted to talk about it last year when I started my channel, uh, but time got away from me and I figured I'll just talk about it next year. So again, this is Autumn Wreath. I have burned this uh, in various forms. It's available in pretty much all forms um, whenever autumn comes around, you know, whenever they put out the fall floor set. Melt cups, tarts, various tumblers. This is actually the second jar of this I've burned. I've also done some of the tarts and I've even done a car jar of it before. Uh, I love this scent, you know, spoiler alert. Uh, so again, many of you have probably had experience with this. This is a, a, a classic Yankee scent. And this is one of those scents too that they have that, you know, when Yankee does have their issues, this is why we come back, our scents like this, right? I mean, this is fall in a jar. So it's important to me, you know, I've been burning this here recently too because I, you know, I do my mini village reviews, right, my Halloween villages, and this is the time that all of those, the new pieces for the year are getting released, and for me to talk about it, to really get in the mood, you know, the proper fall mood, this really helps me get in the mood for it. So I've been burning this as I've been doing a bunch of my reviews down in my uh, basement workshop, kind of where I, I, I do a lot of that stuff, and uh, this is a very strong version of it. This one is actually a 16 pour, and you can see here a uh, couple spots here, like, it looks like kind of calcified oil or something. This is one of the strongest Yankees I've ever had, actually. Uh, if you see here, you can see some of the oil in there. It's just uh, really powerful. Yeah, so what I get out of this is uh, it's like a, uh, a an apple cider mixed with a craft store. I know that's weird, but it reminds me almost, imagine if you are drinking apple cider while you're in a Michael's store, or you know, more pertinent to me, we have a big uh, fall, late summer festival down in the St. Charles Riverfront, the historic area. I've mentioned that before, uh, but it's called Festival of the Little Hills. It's just a massive craft fair, uh, lots of food, live music, all kinds of uh, you know good stuff just everywhere on, uh, on the river. And they have apple cider down there, and you can go inside and peruse the craft stores and artisan stores, and it reminds me of having a glass of, of cider, and you're walking into these places checking out the wares. It just, um, you know, it, it's really nice. So, of course, you have uh, a nice apple note in there and a cinnamon, like a spice, almost like a mulling spice, yeah, but it's not a very spicy cinnamon. It's way more of a, a muted bakery style cinnamon. And uh, you have clove. Uh, there's like some light sweet vanilla or something I get there. There's also some kind of like a woody type of base, right? Uh, it's just, I don't know what it is exactly. It's like a, a wood mixed with like a potpourri. Uh, it's it's just it's really interesting. It's a pretty unique scent. I know that there are a lot of like potpourri style scents, but this is the uh, this is the king of them in my opinion. It's just uh, it's amazing how it puts my you know my mindset. It brings me to fall, and uh, it's just a uh, this is just a classic. You know, while we're talking about fall candles, let's just talk about some of the other stuff you know going on this fall. Uh, just use this as kind of an in for that. You know, of course, Yankee is going to be doing their floor set where stuff like this starts to come out. Uh, I believe it is like July 5th. It's right after July 4th. Basically, as soon as semi annual sale ends, they're going to put out all their floor set for all their autumn stuff. So this guy, all the normal favorites will be back, including their phase two. And I'm actually really excited uh, to try the pumpkin trifle that's coming out. Uh, you know, on my channel, I plan on doing most of them just as uh, melt cups, but I probably am going to get a candle of that one because from descriptions I've heard of it, from those who have smelled it, it does smell really, really good and like it'd be in my wheelhouse, you know, a good pumpkin scent. You know, last year I wasn't big on the Yankee pumpkin scent that they had, the uh, pumpkin swirl candle. To me, that smelled more like a breakfast uh, than it did an actual, you know, like a, a pumpkin thing, but the pumpkin trifle sounds like it'd be right up my alley, so I'm excited for that. You know, as it pertains to Bath and Body Works, they're going to have their fall test candles as soon as the same annual sale ends, you know, as their one ends, I think the same time as Yankee, and I might have an in actually to grab a couple of the uh, test scents, um, depending on what they have, uh, but uh, one of you out there was kind enough to potentially offer that up, so if there are some cool, you know, fall scents that they have new ones, I'll for sure, you know, order a couple to try. I'm not really big if they're going to do, you know, like, Bish Got My Potpourri or some crazy name like that, but if they have, like, the real, you know, real fall scents, uh, some good new harvest ones. I'll for sure try those out. So maybe I can do them early. Regardless, I'm going to do them no matter what on the channel. I'm really excited for uh, to do some Bath and Body Works stuff. I've liked what they've done these last couple of months. They finally got their act together. Of course, I'm going to be doing Witch City Wicks, uh, a bunch of their Halloween stuff, um, their Melt collection. I think that's late July. And uh, oh yeah, Bath and Body Works. You know the test candles come out early July, but the actual fall scents start coming out in late July. And they do their big fall floor set, I know, sometime in August. I think they do most of it, then they release the rest of it in late August or Labor Day for Halloween uh, when they put that stuff out. But um, 
By far the most excited I am though uh, is for Homeworks by Harry Slack and I am hoping to do the whole fall collection whenever he announces that. I am jacked for that. Uh, I think Christmas in July he is going to do with a like a today's special value on QVC uh, around the 15th or on the 15th I forget so candles don't come out till later than that um, you know in September is when he's going to ship them he can't ship the wax in the summer but I know he's going to have the you know the the stuff announced beforehand so we can pre-order it and I do know I have it confirmed from Harry himself straight to me there is going to be something for Halloween so he said it's not a lot but he did want to do something because he heard all of us you know talking that we did they, they had really you know we wanted something for Halloween from Homeworks and uh, so he put something together. What it is, I don't know. I don't know if it's a candle. I don't know if it's an accessory. He wouldn't tell me that, but I do know there is something coming for Halloween. So uh, we do have that. So anyways, really excited to, uh, to get into the fall season. And uh, this has been, you know, back to this one to bring it home here. Uh, if you are looking to get into the fall mood, Autumn Wreath is a classic. You know, you can't really go wrong with any of the wreath candles from Yankee, it seems like. Pumpkin Wreath is awesome. Autumn Wreath is awesome. Uh, I know that there is the uh, Red Apple Wreath for Christmas, and even though while that's not like a super Christmassy scent, I do like that one as well. It's a nice scent. Yeah, guys, Autumn Wreath, uh, would I rebuy it? Absolutely, I always do rebuy it. This is, a, this is a fall classic for me. I got a lot more to go on this guy here, but I burned ones in the, you know, previously. And, uh, you know, before I go, I love the wax color on this. It reminds me of, um, you know, well, like the wreath color, like a, a cinnamon broom. And speaking of cinnamon brooms, you know, on a note to leave on here, another thing that this reminds me of is when your grocery store, around like mid-September, switches the seasonal stuff. Like normally, you know, I know my local grocery stores, when you walk in, they have the seasonal stuff up front or the, uh, you know, the displays, they change out quite a bit. When you walk in in mid-September, all of a sudden you see the apples out. You see apple cider, you see decorations, uh, you'll see like, you know, football themed things. I know they have like a lot of s'mores will come out. Just, they go heavy into the fall stuff, right? And a lot of times, I know at my main local store, my schnooks around here, they have their like floral section with the, you know, crafts and home decor right by it. And they always have cinnamon brooms out. So that's what this reminds me. If you're walking into the grocery store in fall, fall has just hit or it's about to hit, and uh, you know you're in the mood, and then you get hit with with all that stuff, the apples, with the cinnamon brooms, uh, it's, it's just everything. So, again, autumn wreath, complete classic, and I love it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you soon.